Hi, this is Mark Cook reporting from Sebring 2009 um, in the Cessna tent this morning with uh, Neil Wilford, who's the uh, project uh, engineer on the uh, Cessna Skycatcher. Uh, it's going to give us a little bit of update on, uh, on what's happening with the airplane. Neil, good to see you. Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, what's, uh, what's been the latest developments on the airplane? Okay. We, in December, flew with a new vertical tail. After our, the, the spin accident, we took a close look at uh, the original configuration and did another wind tunnel test and looked at a couple of different uh, changes to the vertical tail and picked one that uh, provided uh, some improvement in the areas that looked like we needed to based on the results of the, the, the spin testing we were doing. That's why you test. Mm -hmm. And we again flew in December with the new tail and we're uh, flying through the uh, remaining uh, flight test conditions and uh, airplane's flying fine. I had a chance to, to fly it two weeks ago and uh, it's just a lot of fun to fly. And so we're, uh, the team's really uh, anxious to continue to go through the test program and finish everything up so that we can uh, have our ASTM compliance completed and, uh, and start getting uh, the product in uh, customers' hands. Now, I understand it's, it's, it's been a while since Cessna's developed a new single-engine airplane. It's been derivatives for, here for a while, and I, I realize there's a lot of engineering even with that, but mm -hmm. what kind of a challenge has this aircraft been for the company? Well, it's, uh, it's been a fun challenge where we, it's not often that you get to really start with a clean sheet of paper and you look at your, your your, your past products, what worked well, what would you like to change, uh, what, what is the, the customer's uh, interest in a new product. So we were able to um, build the proof of concept in 2006, get some feedback from our uh, potential customers, uh, including the flight training community, and so that uh, factored into Cessna selecting the O200 engine for, for the aircraft, and then just uh, with a 1,320-pound gross weight limit, it's a uh, very uh, uh, fun challenge, I, I guess I could say, to, to make sure you have the right balance of durability as well as uh, useful load f for the customers. It's, it's really kind of a point design there. You've got to really watch your, your pounds. So. Uh, now, obviously, you get through your production or your, uh, your development side. We get into production. What's the update on the production schedule and deliveries at this point? We're still on track to uh, make first deliveries in the second half of 2009. And uh, line flow has started in, in the factory. So and uh, uh, explain how, kind of your production process. You have a few pilot aircraft. I mean, what's, uh, how do you, how do you uh, sort of disperse the initial part of the fleet? OK. Well, we had uh, three test articles that we built. One was for structural testing, and then two were flight aircraft. And we're continuing with the second flight aircraft to, to finish our testing. And then the, the production aircraft, again, are being built right now. The first uh, uh, part, uh, aircraft's being assembled, and then uh, that will, you know, it'll do its production flight test and then uh, be uh, shipped to the U.S. and uh, uh, reassembled and then uh, delivered to the first customer. Excellent. Now, obviously, you have an airframe issue, issue I mean, airframe development, engine development. Uh, how have the avionics development been on the airplane? It's been going pretty good. We've... Uh, been flying with the Garmin for quite some time now, the, the G300 system, and, and we're working through that. We've been flying also with the, the second display and then also with a, uh, a TrueTrack uh, optional autopilot, and, and that's uh, been fun, too. I had a chance to play with that a little bit on, on the flight a couple weeks ago, and it's a pretty neat little unit. Well, it's a never-ending process. It's, it's nice to see Cessna, you know, pushing through to the end and doing uh, very thorough development. So uh, we look forward to seeing uh, ramps filled with sky catchers here someday soon. We do, too. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Uh, this has been uh, Mark Cook for Avweb and Kit Planes with Neil Wilford of Cessna Aircraft.